ladies and gentlemen welcome back to blueprint entertainment today we got something special going on we are going to set up a tier list for wrestlemania 40 night one now we are going to rank all these matches you see i have the tier list here we are going to go from s tier down to trash now this wrestlemania was it was pretty memorable but there was also some down points that i just really just did not enjoy but um nonetheless let's get started so right now we're gonna start with the becky lynch and uh rhea ripley the world heavyweight women's championship match um <laughs> i put in the s tier i'm trolling i'm trolling i'm trolling it was a tier don't get me wrong it was a good match not hating on them not one bit becky had strep throat so she wasn't 100 percent but the match did what it was supposed to do and it entertained. I mean, Rhea had to do her finisher about three times to put Becky Lynch away, but that was an amazing match to start off the night. So the next match we're gonna go to is gonna be the uh, six pack challenge for the ladder match with the tag title. So what they did differently this year is they put both belts on the line, well, both tag titles on the line. So the match had to start and end with both titles coming off the ring so the teams that were in the match were the judgment day eight town down under which was austin theory and grayson waller we all know judgment day was finn balor and damian priest i don't know why this guy is still carrying around his briefcase but we'll, we'll get back to that later we got diy johnny gargano and thomas uh champa and then we had uh the new catch republic with pete dunn and tyler Bate. we had the awesome truth with the miz and our truth and then we had the new day obviously with kofi kingston and xavier woods so this match was it wasn't my favorite match of the night but it was my most proud match of the night because it kept giving you like an up and down roller coaster of emotions right you you thought that austin theory was going to be sneaky or this this other team was going to jump in and steal it or whatever what wound up happening was austin theory and grayson waller they they obtained the smackdown tag championship which i was fine about but my main issue was is uh our truth has never won at a wrestlemania ever and they kept the announcers kept, you know, reiterating that he never won. And I was like, before this pay-per-view even started, I had picked the awesome truth to win. So the match is going on and I'm like, man, they're not going to get it. I don't understand. I don't, I don't know why they're doing this. And then boom, like magic, our truth and the Miz are the raw tag team champions. So it was an S tier match. I'm sorry, but it was because truth had a spot in the match where he was just he was john cena he, he was unstoppable he was doing the five knuckle shuffle he was doing the aa it was awesome so the next match we're going to get to is going to be there was a tag match between the lwo it was supposed to be ray mysterio and drago lee but it wound up being ray mysterio and andrade versus dominic mysterio and santos escobar now this match right here is undoubtedly now this is controversial this was the best match of the night i guarantee you if you haven't seen wrestlemania go watch it because the way that this match played out it was amazing you had father and son you had santos escobar an amazing wrestler like this guy is he's he's going to be coming up and he's going to be the truth for sure but the way that I like my wrestling matches is like to tell a story. And this story of this match was poetry in motion. Everything was perfect about it. Um, the way it ended was awesome. There was there were spots where, you know, people got their WrestleMania moment and I couldn't be more happier. So that was an awesome match. We got two matches so far in the S tier. Uh, we're going to just continue going on here. So the next match is going to be the Jimmy Uso and Jay Uso, brother versus brother, culminating match at WrestleMania. You know, they've been the Usos for so long where, you know, they were introduced into the WWE at NXT. And all these years later, these guys held the tag titles for the longest reign ever. And you know, this was going to happen. This was the dream match between the brothers where they wanted to, you know, fight each other, right? 
and I was going for Jey Uso. So Jimmy was the villain, obviously, and you know Jay was the white knight. But my down point of this match, I'm gonna put it in the trash tier. And let me tell you why. So it's in the trash tier for me because like Jay carried the match. Jimmy was doing all the work. Jay was like not really or Jimmy, sorry. If if I mess up on the names, I apologize, but Jimmy was not doing what he needed to do to to elevate the match to the next level cuz we've had Jeff Matt, Jeff Hardy fight Matt Hardy. We've had Bret Hart fight Owen Hart. We've had other like family members go at it. And this match was just lackluster. I'm sorry. Like the way it ended was okay. You know, Jay, he ended the match, but I feel like it was one of those calls where it came from up top where the match was so boring. They're like, Hey, we got to call this. So I'm going to put that in the trash tier. I'm, I'm sorry. That's just what I have to do. All right. So the next match we had a, uh, another tag match. It was a six woman tag match. So we had. Bianca Belair, Jade Cargill, and Naomi versus Damage Control, which is Asuka, Kari Sane, and Dakota Kai. Um, this match, I'm going to put it in the, uh, we're going to put it in the C tier. It was okay. Um, I don't like the way that they, now when I say this, like, don't, don't come after me. The way they set this match up. It was kind of like a them versus them match. If you if you if you watched WrestleMania, you know what I mean. The way that they set this up, it was just a little bit just awkward to me. It was a good match. It was okay, but I feel like you know, Bianca and Jade were you know they were gonna dominate the match. Like Naomi didn't really have any like big spots, but they wound up winning the match. So that's we'll just put that in the C tier. It wasn't. It wasn't it wasn't terrible terrible but it wasn't that great and then uh the gunther sammy Zayn for the intercontinental championship right a tier it was a good match and this is the only match of the night for night one that i was wrong on because i didn't know the build-up for sammy right but I started feeling like when they did his intro where he met up with Kevin Owens and then it was like so like focus on Sami Zayn going into the match. I was like, ah, you know, he might win. And the ending, we needed a brain buster and the Hulula kick on Gunther and he won. I was like, wow, three time Intercontinental Champion, A tier match. Um, I was wrong. I'm admitting my wrong, but it was all right. Uh, let's see here. The next match of the night, we had uh, the match everybody was waiting for. This uh, tag match between uh, Cody, The Rock, Roman, and my favorite wrestler, Seth Rollins. <sighs> this is this is really gonna get to me right now. All right, I'm, I'm going to put it in the B tier. I'm going to put it in the B tier because it was a really good match. I called it that Roman and The Rock were going to win. It was mainly Seth was doing all the work. And I'm not saying that because he's my favorite wrestler and I'm being biased. I'm just being I'm just being honest. Like, I feel like him being exhausted tonight is going to be to his detriment tomorrow fighting Drew McIntyre. But well, you know, we'll keep focused on night one. Uh, Seth was tremendous. He had his spots. Uh, the Rock, I feel like he couldn't really wrestle a full match because he hasn't been in ring shape. He's in shape. He's The Rock, but he's not in ring shape where he needs to have the endurance and the stamina. So I feel like Roman, Roman did what he was supposed to do. And Cody, Cody was phenomenal. I mean, Cody, Cody stepped up in a major way tonight, but there was no way that they were going to let cody win tonight and then win tomorrow so i already called it and I'm, I'm calling it right now i said that the rock was going to pin cody tonight which he did and i think tomorrow night cody's going to finally finish his story so this has been the wrestlemania 40 night one tier list um i'm definitely going to do 
tomorrow night's tier list as well. But if you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching. And remember, your life is your blueprint. So make it a good one.